Hello and welcome to yet another Pro Workflow tutorial. Today I'm going to share an important tip that lets you take full control of your Pro Workflow panel in Photoshop. As you know, the panel is linked to specific action sets in the action palette. Think of the Pro Workflow panel as a remote control that triggers each action. So, if I click on the user actions A1, it will trigger whatever action is named A1 from the PWX user action set. So on with A2, A3, all the way till G5. Similarly, from the rest of the panel, if I click on any button, for example the matte effect, you see in the actions palette, it just triggered the matte effect action and we got the matte effect in our image. In the same way, most of these buttons are linked to actions in the actions palette. Now this is where it gets interesting. If you modify this matte effect action, or if you have another action that gives a better matte effect, you can drag that action to the Pro Workflow X action set and name it matte effect and rename the existing one to something like matte effect ALT as in alternate. Same applies to any other action, for example sharpening. Many advanced users tend to have their own sharpening methods. So if you have your own sharpening action, the panel can be linked to it in this way. In fact, if you have downloaded the latest version of the panel from January 2019, the action palette comes preloaded with some alternate actions. They have the same name as the main action followed by ALT suffix. For example, the black and white tones has two different versions of actions. The one active is without the ALT suffix and in my experience is the best black and white conversions you can get in Photoshop today. The details space controls the details using the opacity slider. Then with the black and white adjustment layer, you can control the luminosity of each color. You can fine tune the contrast using the opacity slider of the black and white contrast layer and also modify the tint using the hue slider of the black and white hue layer. If you want pure black and white, turn off the hue layer. And if you want some awesome photographic toning, turn on the visibility of the black and white gradient map in the properties, double click the gradient to open the gradient editor and from the settings icon, click on photographic toning, which I already have open here and choose the one that works for your image. You can always go and adjust anything as everything is designed to be non-destructive. To have the old action activated, simply interchange the names by renaming Alt from one and adding it to the other. The next new action is the Apply LUT action, which will completely change the way you work with LUTs in Photoshop. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's scroll down below to the Power Tools section. Here you will find the CA Fill or the Content Aware Fill has two main options, CA Fill Selection and CA Fill Selection Alt. To use the Content Aware Fill, make sure you make the selection of the area you want to fill and that you are on the correct pixel layer and not on some adjustment layer. The Photoshop rules remain the same when using Content Aware Fill. So the new CA Fill option is only for the latest CC version and it opens the new Content Aware Fill dialog box where you can specify the sampling area and do some adjustments. The old CA fill simply fills your selection with content aware and deselects it. So for the latest CC users, if you prefer the old basic way of content aware fill, simply cut the alt from the CA fill selection text and paste it in front of the other. And now the old CA fill will be active via the panel. Moving along, we have two options for curves. The active one opens the curves dialog box directly while the alternate version allows you to name the curve first before opening the curves dialog box. Next, the vignette, film grain and sharpen, all three have an alternate action and basically it uses the camera raw smart filter to apply vignette, grain or sharpening. And if you want to fine tune anything, double click on the camera raw filters layer and go to the respective tabs. Sharpening can be found here and grain and vignette are located under the FX icon. So if you prefer to do sharpening, film grain or vignette via the camera raw filter, simply change the name of these actions and you can access them via the panel. Now let's go back to the new apply LUT action. The previous apply LUT button opened up the color lookup table dialog box where you can select a color grade. 
This was ok, you simply had to go through every single effect and click on it to see the preview. All this changed when Lightroom and Camera Raw got the power of profiles in the latest upgrade. Let me show you. First let me rename the action so it is active via the panel. Now the new apply LUT button is active. So when you click on the apply LUT now, it opens up the Camera Raw filter. Before you do anything, I would advise you to go to the presets tab here and from your Pro Workflow X presets, click on the reset all preset. If yours doesn't have the reset all, you can download the latest update of the panel. The reason for resetting is because sometimes Photoshop opens up Camera Raw with your last used settings and this could interfere with your current edit. Once you reset, come back to the basic tab here and click on this 4 rectangles or the window icon. This opens the profile browser. Photoshop comes with built-in profiles but they are usually created with Photoshop or Lightroom. The thing about our new Palette Express Pro collection is that they are created from a 3D LUT software which allows you to separate a single color with different luminosity values. The best example would be with this 2000 Hollywood Cool effect. Only the neutral midtones have gone teal. So the best part of these LUTs implemented as profiles is that all of them get real time preview which makes everything super intuitive. You can use them on raw files as well but I prefer to use it in the end of the workflow. Once you're happy with the look, simply click on it and if you didn't already know, you can even modify the intensity by adjusting the amount slider of the profile. Once you're happy with it, click OK. And if you want to do further changes, simply double click on the Camera Raw Filter Smart Layer which will open the Camera Raw Filter again where you can fine tune this LUT or choose another one. So I hope you found these tips useful to get the most out of your Pro Workflow X panel for Photoshop. We are going to come out with tons of Photoshop retouching tutorials very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel and click on the notification bell. And if you have any suggestions for our future tutorials, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.